But it's okay, because I'm actually here to play an adventure game called Maniac Mansion. And it's from uh, 1987, I believe. Um, so yeah, by the way, I um, was mistaken about something that I said yesterday. Um, I believe that I said that... One second. I believe that I said that um, Maniac or um, Labyrinth came out in... Um, just my window here. Yeah, I think I said that Labyrinth came out in something like 1988, um, the same year as King's Quest IV, but that's really not fair. It came out in 1986, which was actually uh, around the same time as um, King's Quest III, to Air is Human. So yeah, I mean, King's Quest III to Air is Human is a way better game than <laughs> Labyrinth, for sure. Um, but the King's Quest IV Labyrinth comparison really wasn't fair. So here, um, it would be more fair to make probably a King's Quest IV Maniac Mansion comparison. Um, actually, Maniac Mansion came out about a year before uh, King's Quest IV. So. Alright, so one thing that's kind of cool about this game is you get to play as several different characters. And we have Dave, Sandy's boyfriend, organizer of the rescue effort. What Wizard says, quit hating on Labyrinth. Fine, Labyrinth was a masterpiece. It's the great game. Um, Sid is an aspiring musician trying to start his own new wave band. Michael is an award-winning photographer for the college newspaper. Wendy wants to be a famous novelist and is waiting for a big break. Bernard, president of the physics club and winner of the college's geek award. Razor, lead singer for the punk band Razor and the Scumettes. Jeff usually hangs out on the beach. Responds to the name Surfer Dude. Alright, so um, we have no choice on Dave. We have to play as Dave. And in addition to Dave, we need to pick two others. So what'll it be? Any preferences, what wizard? Other than Sid? Are you really... Are you really uh, Sid. Is Sid your choice, what wizard? I'm not sure what the Geek Award consists of. That, <laughs> that is kind of a funny award for a college to give out. Uh, you say you want the punk girl? Razor. Alright. Razor. And do we want Sid? Sid, Dave, and Razor? You know, I'm I'm kind of I'm a little bit partial to Wendy because um, she is an aspiring novelist, and I would say that I'm also an aspiring novelist. So I think I'm going to have to go with her, Razor, and Dave. Dave, I don't have a choice on. So, uh, what wizard says there's a 30 second lag? Yeah, I see that I'm getting some drop frames. Uh, hopefully that'll clear up in a second here. I was playing a little bit of Splunky f before this, so that could have contributed to it. 20 years ago today. This is designed by Ron Gilbert who um, you probably recognize, well, maybe you don't recognize, maybe only nerds like me recognize him, but uh, Ron Gilbert is also known for um, uh, Monkey Island games. He was the lead designer in the first two Monkey Island games, along with Tim Schafer, who went on to do such uh, great games as Day of the Tentacle, which is the second Maniac Mansion game, and um, uh, one of some other ones he did, Full Throttle, Grim Fandango, Broken Age, more recently. Okay, this looks like the mansion. I'm sure I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. It's up to us to get her out. This could be real dangerous, if anyone wants to back out. I heard Dr. Fred was kinda cute. Uh, okay, let's go rescue Sandy.
What Wizard says this game definitely wins in the rad music contest. Yeah, I, I am also very fond of the music. Okay, so... Um, I guess if I want to... I guess I'm by default playing as Dave. And I can choose a new kit if I want to. So I'll play as Razor. Because why not? All right, I'm going to um, maybe enter the spooky mansion. But because this is an adventure game, I want to make sure that I've uh, explored all of my options thoroughly before I do that. Okay. It looks like I can only walk in two dimensions in this area, so I'm probably good to go. Um, I open the door. The door is locked. All right. Um, check under the mat, maybe? Or pull door mat. There we go. And I'll pick up that key there. And maybe I'll pull the mat back just so. I'll leave it here. Can I push it? Just don't want anyone to know that I broke in. There we go. Um, okay, so, oh yeah, so, okay, this is great. So, um, you can't see it because my face is covering it up, but on the bottom left there is, um, um, blah, blah, blah. on the bottom left there is a key, so that's where my inventory is stored, and every time I pick something up, I'm guessing that it's just going to go down here at the, at the bottom, um, which is super nice. Like this interface is so much nicer than what we were, um, what we were seeing earlier. What wizard says seems like they kind of went overboard on the verbs there. Yeah, I mean there are a lot of verbs, uh, but you have to keep in mind that this was the era of the text parser. Having a point and click interface like this is very much a breakthrough for the time. So like, um, when on their first attempt, you know they they wanted to make sure that. It was as challenging, and there were as many possibility options as possible. As time went on, they definitely um, started to realize they could cut it down until nowadays we're basically on just left and right click almost in point and click games like this. So, anyways, enough talking. Let's go ahead and use the key in the door. Yeah, but new kid. I don't think new kid is a verb. I think it's something you click on to change characters. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close the door. What is grandfather clock? It's interesting. Um, there's no look option. There's something I uh, something I noticed that was in Labyrinth too. They didn't have a look option. It doesn't seem to open. That's a little surprising. Um, all right, I'm gonna open the store. Oh yeah, I should probably take this flashlight. Well, well, my dear, hope you're having fun. Within minutes, it'll all be over. You'll be hooked up to my machine, getting your pretty brain sucked out. You'll never get away with this. Dave and his friends will rescue me. You and your meteor can eat slime. That's what she thinks. <laughs> help! 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 I'll save you. Um. Use stove with very dull knives. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I think what is is um, you use this to see what all the hot spots are. So if I'm not on what is, 
I'm just on like pole, it actually doesn't light up the hot spots. But if I go what is, I can be like whoop do, very dull knives, faucet, stove, microwave. So yeah, um, that's another thing they changed in later LucasArts games. They just let you um, hover over things with your verbs and just see what they are. You didn't have to do this what is business. So let's open the microwave, because why not? Is there anything in there? Doesn't look like it. Uh, so let's open... I'd rather use the microwave. Uh, I should probably take one of these very dull knives, right? They're glued to the wall. Why'd they glue the knives to the wall? What's up with that? Uh, how about this chainsaw? All right, I have a chainsaw now. Um, what is blood? So, okay. Um, ah! Oh, good, he's not following me anymore. So I guess there's a guy in there. Can I... Oh, I guess... So does he always respawn in the same place? I guess so. I probably shouldn't risk it. Well, hopefully he goes away. Hopefully he goes away later. I just gotta chill. Um, let's see. How do I save my game? Uh, that's clearly not saving my game. Okay. Um, what wizard asks, have you played this game before? No, I have not. Well, actually, uh, that's a lie. I played it many years ago. Um, it is actually included as a hidden feature inside the game Maniac Mansion 2 Day of the Tentacle. Um, and I played a little bit of it on there when I was probably like 13 or 14 years old, but I never beat it, and this is my first time playing, like, I think really playing it for real, so. Okay, Vaz. Um, pick up Vaz. I can't pick that up. Use Vaz. Alright. Guess not. You, there are actually shadows cast in here. That's pretty nice. Uh, open door. There's no handle here. Uh, no, this isn't the NES version. This is the DOS version. So what's in here? We have a cabinet door. Probably open that. So what's in there? What is cassette player? Um, turn on cassette player. There's no tape in the player. That's too bad. Um, uh, old-fashioned radio. Can I take it? Or no, this like the whole unit is probably an old-fashioned radio. I'm guessing, so it's not going to let me take it. Can't pick that up. Um, what is window? Can I open the window? Don't see. It doesn't seem to open. Okay. Um, glass chandelier. Can I? What's this picture? I, I do kind of wish there was a look verb, because that's really my bread and butter when it comes to these adventure games. Open door. Wow, it's dark in here. Oh, hey, I can use my flashlight. Oh, probably want to turn on flashlight. Right? It needs batteries. Okay, I guess I need to get some batteries for the flashlight before I can go in there. Is 
So um, it's a painting of Edna. The, okay, so what the what is verb does is um, if you if you have the what is verb activated and you hover it over um, different things in the scene, you can see what all the hot spots are. So unlike in the other LucasArts games, if you have another verb highlighted and move it around the screen, it doesn't show you what the hotspots are. So in order to see the hotspots, you have to use the what is verb. Ah, the, uh, what wizard says, ah, the old batteries in the flashlight puzzle, one that this game shares with episode one of The Walking Dead. Yep, I'm sure they are inspired by this, by this game. I can't pick it up. Can I pull it? It's firmly attached to the wall. Can I open this door? Oh, hey, there's a bunch of stuff in here I can probably pick up. Now I have a paintbrush. And paint remover. Wow, we didn't have a lot of... Uh, a lot of items there. Um, and a bowl of wax fruit. And what's this? Um, seemed to work. Classic Walking Dead puzzle. The batteries aren't in the flashlight, and this woman can't figure out what's up. You know, I think the first Walking Dead game is really the only one that had puzzles. What wizard? Crate. Can I open the crate? It doesn't seem to open. So, I guess that's not anything. Dried purple slime. Can I pick up the dried purple slime? I'm not going to touch that slime. Guess not. Um, can I pick up this sketch? Can't pick that up. Can I pull it off the wall? I can't move it. All right. Um, did I ever see what this was? No, it's nothing. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. Yeah, there was, uh, what wizard says in episode three of The Walking Dead, there was a puzzle with starting the train. Yeah, I guess that's true. I forgot about that. I guess that was still kind of the transition period for Telltale and whether or not they wanted to have puzzles in their games. And they pretty much decided they didn't anymore. Um, what's this? Vaz. I have a Vaz, I think. Do I have a Vaz? Fruit paint remover. Okay, I'll pick up this vase because I don't think I picked up the other one. I'd better not. It's obviously a valuable antique. Then why wouldn't you want to take the vase if it's a valuable antique? Um, oh, is there a tape in here? Doesn't seem to open. Uh, can I turn it on? There's no tape in the recorder. Can I turn on the record player? There's no record. Oh wait, there's a record here, right? So I can pick it up. And... Destroy Vaz, what wizard says. I don't think destroy is a verb, although I kind of wish it was. They have enough other ones that I think they could justify it. Okay, and I'll turn this on. <laughs> it seems to be space sound effects, the record. Hi, all you budding writers, musicians, and game designers. I'm Mark Eater, and my company will publish anything. Just mail it to the address shown below. 
Don't forget the stamp. Okay. Uh, speaker? What's up with that? Can I turn it on? Doesn't seem to work. Can I pick it up? Can't pick that up. All right. That's just a shadow cast by it. Yeah, okay. Oh, can I can I play the piano? Like Rosella? I have to turn on the Victrola first. I kind of wish she had a piano playing. Enough of this. Um, what's in here? It's open, right? Why do you have a security door if you're just gonna leave it open? Si trouve and voy le I don't know. It's French. I can't. I don't know French. If Panda Space Stand was here, he could tell me what it meant. Um. So what else? What else is in here? We have a statue, plaque on statue. We have some kind of there's a keypad, door. Can't interact with the rug. All right. So I'll open the door. Leave no stone unturned, they say. And it's dark in here. I need batteries for my flashlight. Yes, the picture of the eye is quite charming. Um, right here. Wish I could take it. Pick up. No. Blast. I really wanted that picture of an eye. Open door. Oh, hey, nice. Um, it seems that this person has a nice collection of arcade cabinets. They have Video Fever, Disco Crazy, Alien Slime, um, Die Enemy Die, Meteor Mess, Kill Thrill, and a dartboard. And they also have this Zach McCracken poster, which I believe is uh, the next game that LucasArts came out with. Zach McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders. What a great game. I never did figure out what to do with the can of gas on Mars. Cool. I can't pick that up. The game is broken. Fix air hockey table with video game fever game. That doesn't seem to work. Can I turn on video fever? I think it's on, but there's no power. Is there no power in this room, like at all? Yeah, so she'll just say that for all of them, probably. Why is there no power? So that's not a hot spot. What Wizard says, I love Disco Crazy. Yeah, that has to be a great game. To the third floor. I'm going to save my game first. Uh, what was that noise? Pain here. So spooky branch. Can I, like, rip off this wallpaper? Oh. Hello, Mr. Tentacle. Um. Can I... 
What is... You can't pass until you feed me. Um... How would you like this bowl of wax fruit? Wow, my favorite. That's what I wanted. Now I'm thirsty. Where's my drink? Um, can I give you this uh, paint remover? Give. Paint remover to green tentacle. Yeah, no thanks. Um... Can I, uh, huh. There's a refrigerator downstairs, but Evil Scientist Man is in there. Yeah, and I can't interact with the piece of torn wallpaper. So I'm going to head back downstairs and see if I can do anything about Evil Scientist Man. I've been in here, right? What was it again? Oh, yeah. That's right. All the open doors I've been through. Um, I guess I should save before I go in there in case he gets me. Uh, okay. Is he still in here, evil scientist? Oh, wait, maybe I can use the vase. Or no, I don't have a vase, do I? Never mind. I was going to say maybe I can use the vase in the faucet and get some water, but... Oh, he's not in here anymore. Um, so I can open the fridge. Maybe there's some orange juice or something in here. All right, so I open the Frigidaire, and let's see what's in here. What is cheese, old, oh, hey, old batteries, a uh, can of Pepsi, lettuce, broken bottles of ketchup. All right, so I'll take all this stuff, because why not? So pick up old batteries. Pick up cheese. Take or uh, <laughs> what was it? it? Says open fridge. Take organs. Are there organs in the fridge? I didn't see any. Can of Pepsi. Um, lettuce. Ketchup. All right. I have everything I need to be happy in life. So, first off, let me use these, um, I guess it's ketchup, the oldest trick in the book. Yep. Fooled again, what wizard? I guess I'll use the old bat- Gee, I'm hungry. Uh, where did he just come from? Probably came from over here, and I'm walking immediately in his direction. Or maybe not. Gravy stain. Tum de dum, dum de dum. Where's the cheese? I'm sorry. Um, I better take this week old roast, because you never know when you'll need a week old roast. And this old rotting turkey. And 
Whatever that is, I can't pick it up. Can I take this candle? It's too heavy. Mm, okay, so I'm going to use the old batteries with the... Not the can of Pepsi. The flashlight, if I can find it. Ah, here, flashlight. Okay, so I guess I put them in there, presumably. Um, so now I should be able to explore dark rooms. Oh, open door. Oh, wait, did I not? I didn't. Okay, sorry. I backtracking, but there was a door I didn't try to go through that I kind of want to check out before I go upstairs and give the Pepsi or whatever to the um, tentacle, the green tentacle. Just want to see what's through this door. Open door. All right, what's all this? Um, shelves. What is bottle of developer? Tentacle chow. Canned goods. Oh, I probably could have given the tentacle the tentacle chow. That would have that would have been better than the bowl of wax fruit, right? Um, fruit drinks. Glass jar. Nice. Okay. So I'll pick up the. Developer, whoops, what's whoops, do you have it? You don't have it, did you drop it? What is great? Can you, can you open the great? Yeah, broken glass. Can I pick up the grate? Yeah, broken glass. Oh, yuck, broken glass. She said, yeah, broken glass. Take tent chow. I don't see any tent chow. I do see some tentacle chow. So I'll take some of these canned goods. Yeah, I'm carrying a lot of, around a lot of stuff. She must have some deep pockets in that dress. And some fruit drinks. All right. Um, so I want to save my game before I go through doors. What wizard? Conan, what is great in life? The door is locked. Can I use that key? unlock it? Do I have the key anymore? It doesn't look like I do. Chainsaw. Key. Oh, I do have it. Key. Use key in door. Doesn't work. Okay, I guess I... Um, oh, can I unlock the door? Because I'm on the inside, right? Oh. Right. Okay. Gonna head back upstairs. Head back upstairs. Oh, shoot. You know what? I've been playing this game for 40 minutes, and I haven't actually changed the game I'm playing on uh, Twitch. It says that I'm playing Spelunky, but I'm actually playing Maniac Mansion. People should know that before they come and say... He's not playing Spelunky. Maniac Mansion. Ah. 
All right. Cool. So um, let's keep going here. The title is also incorrect. What title? What wizard? Okay. Up the stairs I go. And through this giant door. Oh, excuse me, Spelunky because the game was crap. I, uh, I I incorrectly insulted the great game, Labyrinth. The greatest game that I have played and ever will play on the stream. So I apologize for that. Oomph. Alright. So, what wizard? Uh, tell me. Pray tell. What should I give the green tentacle? Should I give him paint? Or I already tried to give him paint remover. Should I give him a can of Pepsi, broken bottles of old, broken bottles of ketchup, um, or fruit drinks? I'm not even sure if he'll take the ketchup, but you know it's worth a shot. He said he's thirsty. I don't know. I'm thinking the. Um, I'm thinking the ketchup first, and if that doesn't work, then maybe the Pepsi. And I only say the Pepsi because um, it says bottles of juice, and I'm worried that if I give him bottles of juice, that it'll get rid of all of them. Probably the tent chow, right? Um, I don't... So I've already given him food. I gave him wax fruit, which he ate, accepted, and then he said he was thirsty. So I'm not sure if he will... Um, yeah, okay. Pepsi. Pepsi it is. Give can of Pepsi to Green Tentacle. No thanks, it makes me burp. Figures. Um, wait, did they actually get the permission to use the name Pepsi? I guess so. Um... Or maybe they, or, or maybe they uh, have some kind of corporate tie-in. Mm, would you accept broken bottles of ketchup? Wait, did he eat the ketchup? He did, didn't he? I didn't even need to give it to him. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, well. I was thinking of ketchup as a liquid, but I guess that's kind of weird. Uh, give fruit drinks to Green Tentacle. Thanks. Cool. Um, so... Tentacle gone. All right. Oof, now I'm thirsty. Ah, oh. life-giving water, nectar of the gods, Nathan Bobathan feels strength and renewal throwing, flowing through him. Open door. It's dark in here. I better try to use, or turn on my flashlight, which has batteries in it now, old batteries, but... Yeah, I guess it works. Um, so there's some stuff in here. Wait a minute. Okay, good. I thought I saw a guy. That would have been scary. What is file drawers? So let's open those. Open those up. They're locked. I doubt the key works in them, but you know. 
you got to try these things. Use key in file drawers. It doesn't work. Um, okay, so pick up, or what is file drawers, desk, and larger. Can I enlarge something that I have? Do I want to enlarge something that I have? What do you think, what wizard? Should I try to enlarge something that I have? I'll let you chew on that while I check out what else is in the room. Oh wait, looks like the batteries went dead. Shoot! Oh man, that's annoying. Um, okay, so wait, red light. There's a red light. Can I turn on the red light? Turn on... Where was it? It's annoying that you can't actually use the... Um... There we go. Okay. So there is a light in here. Um, okay, so... Yeah, what I probably was supposed to do was use the flashlight to find the light to turn on and then turn it on and then turn it off so I could save batteries. But I didn't do that, so I don't have any more. Um, okay, so what else do we have in here? What is developer tray? Pick up the developer tray. Can't pick that up. Okay, so what wizard? Should I try to enlarge something in my inventory? And if so, what? Should I try to enlarge this old rotting turkey? Ah, it won't let me. Oh, maybe I have to put it in the developer tray. Nah, it didn't let me. Um, can I... Tr Daddy's been acting very strangely ever since his secret project in the lab. Yeah, so? Well, Mommy, I'm worried about him. He hasn't been at dinner for five years. Yeah, so? And he's been bringing those bodies down into the basement late at night. What's your point, Ed? I'm a very busy lad. Or, I'm a very busy lady. Sorry. Read that one wrong. Never mind. Alright. Um... So can I turn on the enlarger? That was my last question. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Um, I guess I'll leave until I can figure out something I might be able to use, perhaps. Wow, this house is huge. It just keeps going up and up. It's almost as if it's a mansion. I should probably save my game before I go up there. That's a smart thing to do. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. There's like a devil uh, door piece there. Can't look at it, though. That's too bad. I want to look at the devil door piece. Ah, so here's the bedroom of the, of the person. Um, is there anything I can interact with in here? What is bad? What is... Oh, hey, I can take this dime. Pick up dime. And um, what is radio? Can I turn on the radio? I can't get it working. It might be missing a part. Do I have any... Lettuce, can of Pepsi, weak old turkey, canned goods, cynical chow, glass jar dime. Yeah, I don't think I have anything I could use on that. 
wanted poster and picture of Nurse Edna. Uh, I'm going to read the wanted poster. I want to know what's up with that. Wanted for terrible acts of violence. One murderous purple slimy meteor. If found, call zero... What was it? Murder slimy meteor... Purple slimy meteor. If found, call... <laughs> I missed it again. Darn it. Uh, <laughs> read poster. Slimy meteor. 0525, okay. Probably not important, but whatever. Alright, so there's a left speaker. A uh, poster that says, I am a rocker. Oh, I'm so depressed. I'm never going to get my band started. My life is going nowhere. I'm never going to amount to anything. Eating all that food didn't even help. Or a tentacle. Can I pick up this record? No, oh, it's a picture of his mom. Yellow key. Can I take it? Can I take this yellow key, man? Cool. Thanks. Oh, hey, is there a tape in here? I don't see a cassette player on the description, so maybe not. Mondo stereo poster. Can I turn on the stereo? Uh, I guess that didn't do anything. All right, uh, I guess I'll head downstairs. So, yep. And now, down, 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 down. All right. Um, open this door. Oh, I should probably save first. So open, nope. Uh, open door. Ah, an unwelcome visitor. And you're no longer following me. Come to me, cutie. Oh, shoot, this is weird. I got you. You're lucky you're not a boy, or you'd be in big trouble now. Um, I'll look around to see if I can get out of here, and if I can't, I'm going to restore my game. Oh my. Skeleton. Can I uh, pick up a bone or anything? I wonder if I know him. Secret lab. I have a couple keys. Maybe one of these keys works with it. I'm surprised she didn't... Um, can't unlock the door with this. Um, I have the yellow key. Alright, I'm going to restore my game. Because that's not going to work. Alright. How about this door? I can open this door. Intruder, halt! Is he going to continue to follow me? Or is two flights of stairs enough? Or one flight of stair enough? Out the door and down a flight of stairs.
All right, I'll try the store. Surplus body parts. Yuck. Uh, can I pick up the surplus body parts? Yuck. Guess not. Can I pick up this Playboy calendar? It's nailed, stapled, and glued to the wall. All right. Um, sarcophagus. Can I open the sarcophagus? And what? what is inside of the sarcophagus? Uh, I don't know. Boy, that's weird. Um, <laughs> what happens? Oh, there's a TV. So turn on the TV. Doesn't seem to work. This would be a way to turn on the TV. Come on. Uh, what's this? Hunkomatic machine. Can I use the Hunkomatic machine? Oh, the doorbell. I wonder if that's my package. Oh, okay, so I can go to his room now. Intruder, halt! Shoot. Should probably restore my game. Maybe? Are you coming? Is he going to come after me? Guess not. Maybe I'll try to go out again. Because he might be downstairs by now. Yep. yep. Okay. So, open this door. What? You're going to go downstairs and check on a package, man. What are you doing? Yeah, that's... <laughs> I guess this guy has, like, a mummy. A weird mummy fetish. Um... Which is weird, but teach their own, I guess. So she can work out in the hunkomatic. That's good. Ah, I feel much stronger now. Good. Um, is this a handicap accessible bathroom? Guess so. Sink, cracked mirror, shower curtain. Let's open the shower curtain. For good, Edna. <laughs> what the hell is this? Um, <laughs> read. Nothing to read. Pick. I can't pick that up. What is? nothing I can interact with, I guess. Um, okay. So... Oh, there's a sponge I can pick up. Pick up... Sponge. So now I have a sponge. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Do I? I still see it there. Oh, yeah, I have it. Okay. Uh, can I turn on the, the sink? Can I get some water or something? Use glass jar on the sink? Jar of water. Nice. How about the sponge? Can I use a sponge with the sink? Use sponge in sink. Sponge with water. All right. Okay. Um. Now there's a toilet. I'll open the toilet lid. See if there's a present in there for me. Is there? Guess not. I guess I'll pull the pole chain. So why not? Why not? Am I right? Can't even take these glasses? Alright. Okay. Enough of that.
All I get is fuzz. All right. Um, so what's in here? What is fireplace, plant, family portrait, typewriter, man-eating plant? I'm a woman, though. Use typewriter. Oh, I have to use it with something. Um, pick up typewriter. Can't pick that up. So can I pick up the man-eating plant? probably a bad idea, but I saved my game. Can't pick that up. Um, alright, so, is there a, th okay, so, man-eating plant. Can I give, like, this weak old turkey to the man-eating plant? Weak old roast. Better get closer. I'm pretty close, aren't I? Better get closer. Pretty close. Pretty close. Um, how close do you want me to be? Like over here, or it's a paint blot blot blotch. Can I push it? Guess not. Can I open it? Guess not. Oh, what if I used a wet sponge on it? No. All right. Um. Yeah. Oh, an unwelcome visitor. What was up here again? Oh yeah, this was the, the tentacles, like, den or whatever. All right, what now? Um... Oh, hey, I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, one thing that I haven't done at all is uh, used any of the other kids. And I guess there's one... Uh, there's a trick I could use. So if I go to Wendy... Oh, wait. So what I want to do then, probably... Um, okay. Okay, I need to think about this. So, use Razor, and I probably want to put her, like, in here, maybe, and close the door. And then I want to switch to uh, Wendy, and ring the doorbell, if there is one, or knock on the door or something. They have to have a doorbell of some kind. Front door. Interesting. 
Oh wait, there's a package here. And bushes. Why don't there be bushes? Pick up package. Open package. Some uncanceled stamps came off. That would be illegal. <laughs> All right. Um. So. All right. Oh, hey, there's a doorbell. There's a doorbell. Um, push doorbell, right? Again? Can't you read the sign? Now get out of here! Oh, well, I was gonna see if I give him this package. Um, kid, kid, new kid. Razor. Open door. Probably waited too long. Open door. So, can I take the hamster? Pick up. Hamster. Pick up. Piggy bank. Nailed and glued to the table. Um, strategic commando chart. Window. Alright. Intruder, halt! What are you doing in my house? Not talking, eh? Well, to the dungeon, spy! Too bad you weren't on my side. All right, let's try that again. Fourth floor. Um, so I'll close the door. New kid. Wendy. The package. Some stamps. Ring the doorbell. Again. New kid. Uh, razor. Open the door. Hope he's not out there. Call. Go ahead and okay, so I'm gonna open the store. Go in here. Pick up hamster. Maybe read these. Strategy commando, where's the re Can't you read the sign? Now get out of here! Alright, so I'm gonna read the strategic commando chart. Doesn't make any sense, okay. Um, I guess some- oh hey, there's a card key. It's probably gonna catch me. Walk out. Walk this way. Go, 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 go. Woo, okay. 
So I now have a card key. Nice. Um Where was there a, was there a place for a card key anywhere? Look at Oh, there's not a look at. I always forget that. Um Hamster and card key. All right. Um, I also, let's see, maybe I should put Wendy back over here so she doesn't, no one sees her. And uh, so now if we need someone else to ring the doorbell ever, we can ask Dave to do it. And new kid. And new kid. Um, wait, can I? I can't. I thought maybe I could move items between the different characters, but I can't do that. Uh, Razor. Back to Razor. So, yep. Door. So this is fun so far. Um, yeah, this came out the same year as King's Quest Three, and I so far I'm finding it very charming, a lot of fun. Um, I don't know how much progress I'm actually making. I don't feel like I've solved any kind of puzzles in the traditional sense, but yeah, it's fun. I like I like that you can play as multiple different characters. Although I've mostly been focusing on one because I don't. So far, I haven't really f felt much of a need to use the other ones, um, but, you know, I'm sure I'll get to that point. Mm. Can I see what's in here even if I... Okay. Uh, lamp. Desk lamp. Okay, I can probably turn it on. So turn on... Desk lamp. Can't turn on the desk. Should be able to turn on the desk lamp. Desk. Come on. Desk lamp. <laughs> what is desk? Desk lamp, right there. So turn on desk lamp. Not going to turn it on? There we go. Uh, let's see, can we open these drawers? What's that? Manuscript. Um, so I'll pick that up, if I can find the verb for it. Pick up manuscript and read the manuscript, because I want to know what it says. So read manuscript. It looks like someone's memoir, but the writing is terrible. It's written by a meteor? How strange. Um, walked to mail a med diploma. Presented to Dr. Fred. <laughs> uh, what's this? Docs are us diploma. <laughs> Degree for mummifying and bandaging. Nice. Blackboard? What's on the blackboard? It looks like the formula is describing the structure of a meteor. That's strange. Uh, there's an examination table. God knows what you can do with that. Medical diagram that'll read here. Read medical chart. Wow, that's neat. Is it? <laughs> um, open medical cabinet. It must require a special key. Ooh, I have a yellow key. Could that be? I have three keys. I have a yellow key. I have a card key. And... Must require a special key. How about a card key? Can't 
doesn't seem to work. And it's probably not the key of the front door, is it? Nope. Okay. All right. I guess I'll I think I've done everything I can here. Um, nothing else, nothing else. Neil security door. And what's in here? Oh yeah, I've been in here. Easel, crate, nothing of import that I remember seeing. Um, was this... No, this is, I was, I've, I mean, I've been in, I think I've been in all the rooms except for maybe um, some of the ones downstairs that were dark. But I'll check those out because I think I figured out how to turn lights on now <laughs> in dark rooms. Get away from me, you purple slime geek. Don't touch me. Purple tentacle? Stop playing with the lab experiments. Bring her. The machine is ready. <laughs> Yeek! So, is this game timed? I hope I'm not about to lose. That would be sad. Open door. There's no hand. Oh, yeah, there's no handle on that door. Um. Oh, I will probably save just in case. Um, so what is lamp right here? So turn on. Lamp. Oh, we're in the library. Staircase out of order. That's great. <laughs> um, uh, telephone. Chair. Yep. Okay. Um. So, what can I do in here? Oh, hey, there's a loose panel. Open loose panel. Cassette tape. Nice. Cassette player in there, right? I think there's a better one upstairs, though. Oh, hey, is this knobless door a door for a key card? Possibly. Door. Let's see Nork. Okay. Oh, can I take one of these gargoyles? Nope. Worth a try. Mm. So where is that music room? Was it in here? Nope. That was the room with the crates. How about on the other side? No. Come on. Back. Back, you fiend. 
How about in here? Yeah, this is a music room. Um, so I have some things. Cassette tape. I... Okay, it's recording. Oh man, so maybe... I use record on control. There's already a record on here. Okay, so pick up record and there's a record further. Okay, so which record is which? Record. Is it fun? Old record. I think I want record. Right? Okay. So use record on control. And I want to turn on the Victoral. <laughs> that did something. Um, ouch! Okay, so I guess that shatters class. Um, I'll pick up my cassette tape again. It's still recording. Okay, so I'll turn off cassette recorder. It stopped recording. And I'll pick up my cassette tape, my glass-shattering cassette tape. I'm sure that'll come in handy. All right, so there's got to be something to this. There's a cassette player here, and I have a glass-shattering tone somewhere. Um, oh, yeah, okay. So, so what if I use the... Cassette tape in here. Will something happen? Something cool happen? Turn on cassette player. Oh, nice. Um. So, oh, hey, it's an old rusty key. Now I have an old rusty key. Seem to remember there being a locked door here. Maybe I can try the key on it. I think it was over here. Through this door and here. Let's try it. Let's try it. Unlock door with old rusty key. Can't unlock the door with this. That's too bad. Um, huh. So what do I do with that old rusty key?
nowhere to go. Where else can I go? Nope. Huh. Door. Yeah, I don't know why I went back here. Hmm. Mm. Bushes. What's up with these bushes? Um, can I push the bushes out of the way? I can't move it. Can I pull the bushes? Oh, hey. Grading. Can I open the grading? Open grading. Easy. Nice. Wait. Ooh, I should save my game. I'm under the house. Under the house. Um, is this something? It's too high to reach. Maybe, oh, hey. What if I, uh, new kid, new kid, new kid. Dave's probably tall. So Dave, go in here. Nope, 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 wrong way. Go in here. And see if you can reach this. Do, do, do. Yeah, you can reach that, right? Open floor grading. It's too high. What? Puddle of developer. Can I pick up the puddle of developer? don't have anything to put it in. Oh, maybe, uh, can Razor, Developer, Paintbrush, Cheese, Can of Pepsi, Gold Roast, Tentacle Child, Jar of Water. Maybe if I empty the jar of water. Can't get it in the jar. Um, old rusty key. I don't know. Well, neither of you can reach that, so you're dead. You're dead to me. Oh, hey, water valve. What happens? Don't know what that accomplished, but okay. Oh, so that's as far as I can get out here. Oh no! The pool is emptying again. We're going to have to, to have another meltdown. How can I take over the world when I'm on a budget? I always get stuck with cheap equipment. Boy, is the meteor going to be pissed. Tentacle, front and center. Yes, sir, Dr. Fred, sir. Purple tentacle at your disposal, sir. Quick, go check out the reactor. Yes, sir. Um, are they going to catch me? So 
where are they? That's my question. Like... Hmm, there's no one here. Where was that? Have I explored all the dark rooms? Um, all right. That's still the way. <laughs> um, this is a dark room before, but now it's a library, right? No, it's this <laughs> it's this old crate room. Great. Uh, how about here? Is this a dark room? No. This is the laboratory. This isn't anything either. Because unless. Oh, wait, coin box. Can I open the coin box? Coin box. Guess not. Okay, um, so here, oh yeah, it's this place. Desk, yeah, boy, I don't know. What, <laughs> what just happened? Did I lose? The house and everyone within a five mile radius have been destroyed in a massive nuclear meltdown. The game is over. Press F4 to play it again. Well, um. I guess that was uh, Maniac Mansion. I, um, I mean, there's more, obviously there's a better ending to the game um, if I played it to completion. Surely the ending would not be the entire, the entire house and everything within a five mile radius, just giant, blah. The entire house and everything in a five mile radius just exploding in a giant nuclear meltdown. Um, but that's what we got tonight. And, um, don't really have enough time to sink into finishing it up tonight. Um, so yeah, I'll just, um, I'll think about maybe, maybe, um, giving the game another crack on Monday, um, and seeing if I can finish it then, or possibly just, um, skipping over it and moving on to something else. So we'll see, we'll see how that works. Uh, what wizard says congrats on winning the game? What wizard, I did not win the game. Uh, I got a nuclear meltdown and the entire house blew up. So I don't think that that, exactly constitutes as winning the game. I think it just means that there's a time limit. Time limit on there. So, um, yeah. That was Maniac Mansion. I thought it was... Uh, what I played was was kind of fun. Um, I don't think I made that much progress. Like, I got, I got the sense that... I mean, I picked up a lot of objects, but I don't think I ever really figured out how to use them meaningfully. So, I don't really know what that says about the game. Um, I can't really judge the puzzle design because I don't feel like I really solved any puzzles. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that just says that I'm bad at this game or if it says that the game's not very good. So I don't, I don't really know what to make of that. Um, but yeah, definitely, I mean, it came out in, in um, 1988, so 87, 88, something like that. So around the time of King's Quest III. And yeah, I mean, in some ways I enjoy King's Quest III a lot more um from what i've seen of it so from what i've seen of this game so far 
but in almost every conceivable way, uh, Maniac Mansion is is a more playable game than King's Quest Three. Uh, you don't have to mess with the text parser, and it, it's a much more contained world that you're exploring and that you're that you're interacting with. So yeah, it's it's a uh, it's an easier game than King's Quest Three, and I uh, it's it's definitely more more playable too. So it's old; it's from 1987. But uh, if you want to check it out, if you liked what you saw here tonight. Um, not going to stop you. I think it. I think it's probably pretty fun, but I honestly, what I played, I don't really know enough about it to to come to any final judgment on that. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the stream, and I will join you again after this weekend on Monday to either um, finish Maniac Mansion or to move on to Zach McCracken. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.